So recently, I actually had a chance to speak with Olympic figure skating champion Christy Yamaguchi. It was very exciting for me. She's been named one of Family Circle's most influential moms in America. I asked her about the honor and how she would be spending her Mother's Day this weekend. Take a listen. So while you're sharing photos of your moms on Facebook and on Instagram, Family Circle Magazine is honoring 20 women for their Mother's Day edition. One of these is Olympic figure skater and gold medal winner Christy Yamaguchi. And she joins me now via Skype. It's very exciting for us to have you, Christy. Welcome to The Daily Share and happy early Mother's Day to you. Christy, you have two daughters. What do you think they're planning for you on Sunday? Usually our tradition, our family tradition is kind of with my mom and my sister and some aunts. Um, we all get together for like Sunday brunch and then um, the dads take the kids and it kind of leaves the moms free to go shopping and, and have just a fun mom's day out. So Christy, how does it feel to be a part, to be featured in Family Circle as one of the powerful moms? Um, I, I was a little bit surprised, but of course honored to be um, included in the family circle um, with all the other moms and, you know, very humbling crowd to be included with. Everybody knows you obviously for your skating, your figure skating and the Olympics. Do your girls skate? Uh, the nine-year-old does skate and um, she's been skating for a few years now, so it's good. Well, family Circle Magazine asked you um, uh, how, uh, what do you know now that you wish you'd known when you were younger? And in your answer, you said, I was very intense with my focus and attitude when I was training. I would have told myself to loosen up and enjoy it all a little more. Your youth passes by so fast. How are you <laughs> translating that to your girls? Well, I think it's always just, encouraging them to live in the moment and to make the best and of every opportunity and every moment that comes their way. You know, my husband and I just really want to encourage them to uh, follow those interests and enjoy life at the same time. I mean, I think it's great to, you know, have a, a big goal and a narrow focus, but, um, you know, don't have the blinders on too much so you, you don't truly enjoy it. You're an Olympic champion, obviously. You're a fashion designer, you're an author, and you're the founder of uh, the Always Dream Foundation. What are some of the biggest challenges that you face at doing all of those things and then also being a mom? Um, it's, it, you know, like any mom who's busy working, it's it's prioritizing and finding the time to do it all. Um, I think, you know, I, I really try to prioritize family first and uh, make sure the home front is all uh, buttoned down and things are running smoothly. And how has being a mom changed the Christy Yamaguchi that we knew uh, who, you know, competed in the Olympics? Um, you know, I think competing for the Olympics and preparing for that, it's, um, you know, you almost have to be fearless and you're just like going for it, you're going for your dream. You know, I would do whatever it took. Um, I think after becoming a mom, um, my world just kind of opened up a lot more and, um, uh, I kind of mellowed out, but then at the same time, I became more careful with things. You know, I had these two amazing little things who depended on me. We have talked a lot on the show about introducing kids to Twitter and Facebook um, and, and how to do that and when to do that. Have you thought about that? We're just getting there because our oldest is 11. We will definitely try to put parameters around the usage and um, monitor it for sure. Um, I think. You know, it's it's an amazing tool, but at the same time, I think it's uh, so powerful that sometimes um, we're still learning how, how to deal with it. Well, Christy Yamaguchi, happy Mother's Day to you.